Hello, freaks and freelancers. My name is TB Skyn. This is not a video about character design. This is not really a video about video games or anything uh, especially fun, I have to say. Um, but uh, it is a video about being a freelancer and about some of the things that makes freelancing more difficult. So, a while back, Ubisoft announced Beyond Good and Evil 2 at E3, and alongside that, they announced a collaboration, a partnership with Joseph Gordon-Levitt's company, Hit Record, in order to produce some content, some artwork that was going to be included in the game. And Ubisoft were very happy to kind of market this as, oh, we want to collaborate with the community. We want to feature your artwork. We really want you guys to be a part of this. And in order to pay for that, we have given $50,000 to Hit Record to pay to the people who submit to the contest so that you get some money back in return. And Joseph Gordon-Levitt himself was also very happy on Twitter and in other places to loudly proclaim that, no, no, he believes very strongly in artists getting paid fairly for their work. That is the whole basis of his company, Hit Record. If you saw my video on that particular little um idea, that little promotion, you might already know what's coming now. And I'm going to link to that video down in the description so you can get a fuller... Well, I mean, it's mostly just a raging rant, but a fuller breakdown of my feelings on the matter. But TLDR, if you submit to that contest, you are expected to do a lot of work up front to submit as your entry... From all those entries, those thousands upon thousands of entries that are selected, hit record and Ubisoft can choose however many or however few that they want. And however many or however few people get submit get selected for that contest get entered into a pool of artists whose work will be featured in the game. But if you work for 45 hours, 60 hours on a massive mural piece that's going to be going on one, like one wall in the game and not a lot of players are going to see it, but you work for 60 hours on that thing to make it the best it can possibly be, hit record in Ubisoft remain completely within their rights to look at all of the work that you have done and look you in the eye and say, you deserve about $5 for that. And there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Furthermore... If you want to have a chance, any kind of a shot at getting paid anything approaching commensurately to your contribution to the project, anything approaching even a minimum wage for the amount of time that you put in, you can't ask for more money from Ubisoft. You can't ask for more money from Hit Record because there's only $50,000 available. No, if you want to be paid fairly, you have to turn around and look at your fellow artists, your fellow creators, your fellow fans of Beyond Good and Evil 2, your fellow community members with whom you were supposed to be collaborating, and you have to raise an accusatory finger at each and every one of them and say, they deserve to get paid less. They don't deserve to get paid as much as you're going to pay them because their work is inferior to mine and I deserve more of their money because there's only $50,000 available. And if you want any more of it, you have to make an argument for why someone else deserves to get paid less. And I am still fucking furious that Ubisoft and Hit Record weren't taken to task by the gaming press more on this ridiculous, just predatory, horrifying exploitation of artists whose only crime was being a fucking fan of the thing there's... How the fuck do they get away with shit like... Anyway... That's the other video. If you want to hear more about me just angrily ranting about that, you can go watch the other video. Anyway, because of that video, when Riot announced a little art contest of their own, a few people reached out to me on Twitter and elsewhere and asked me if I was upset about that as well. Like, if that also constituted a toxic assault on the value of art as a skilled, as a skilled field of labor. No. It's not. It's not It's not even within the same ballpark of just horrifying badness that the Ubisoft thing is. And I'm really, I'm not angry about it or upset about it particularly. Um, but that doesn't mean there aren't a few problems with it. Now, this is a harmless contest. I'm going to say that up front. Like, this is fairly harmless. You're not really being massively exploited for, like, for the purposes of enriching Riot. You're not really being you know, taken advantage of in a terrifying way. This is a fun contest for fans and kids who just want to have some fun with Riot to maybe win some prizes, and it's the, it's a community thing. It's mostly harmless. Mostly harmless. If you want to submit to it, if the, if the contest interests you, as I'm describing it later on in the video, you should just submit to it. It's fine. Like, you're not, you're not betraying anyone. You're not, you're not ruining the world. There's nothing wrong with it. You can do it if you want to. I personally won't be, and I'm going to tell you why. 
but I don't want you to come away with the impression that I think this is as bad as the shit that Ubisoft pulled with Hit Record, that they're still pulling, that they're still somehow fucking getting away with. It's not that. It's not even in the same ballpark. What I would like to discuss, however, is why I won't be submitting to it and the context in within which I think this kind of contest has to be understood. So the contest itself. Essentially, what Riot are asking you to do is to draw a, a champion from League of Legends making an expression. Any kind of expression. Whatever whatever the hell you want. Like, they're happy, they're sad, they're angry, whatever. Just draw a champion, like, from, from the shoulders up, making some kind of uh, expression in the same manner as this particular picture here. No backgrounds. You don't need to put colors on it. It doesn't need to be more than a sketch. You don't need to spend 20 hours on it. It's not... They're not asking for a whole lot. Um, in return for that, they offer 30 opportunities to win. 25 honorable mentions will get 3,250 RP. Three runners-up who will get a Microsoft Surface Pro in addition to that RP. And two grand prize winners will get a Surface Book 2. This is a promotion in collaboration, by the way, with Microsoft, who are, who are um, providing some of the prizes. <sighs> There's a few rules, like you must submit your interest thus, you must sign it, you must keep it clean, SFW, so on and so forth. And... They're going to draw some contest winners, and presumably they're going to put out a post publishing it or put it in the clients, whatever the hell they're going to do. Some people are going to win, a bunch of people aren't going to win. That'll be the end of it. Like I said, it's harmless. This is the kind of contest that you will find on the back of a cereal box every once in a while. Kellogg's will say, hey, draw your best picture of Tony the Tiger, and we're going to send you some branded something. Like a branded spoon that you can eat your cereal with or whatever. It's 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 on that kind of level. It is not on the level, by the way, something else I talk about a lot on Twitter, especially when uh, when corporations, and especially because that's part of my sphere of interest, esports teams like to reach out to their community and their fans and say, hey, why don't you design a t-shirt for us? Why don't you design a piece of merchandise for us? And in return for that, we'll give you a t-shirt or a mouse pad or whatever. That shit, <laughs> I could do a whole separate video on that, and maybe someday I will, is a lot more exploitative, because that is that is essentially much like Hit Record and Ubisoft. When you're asking someone to create merchandise for you, and in return for that you give them fucking nothing, or, you know, scraps and nothing, while exploiting their feelings of emotional engagement with your brand, that's really super shitty, and it's, it's a very... It's a very unfair exploitation of people that at the same time also devalues the work of freelancers. We're going to get into that later. This right here is not so much that. It's, as far as I can tell, Riot's intent is just to put them all together in like a master post and feature them in an episode of Summoner Showcase or put them in the client or, you know, something like that. It's, it's some little community promotion that's just kind of for fun. Sandalwood Grips, by the way, I should tell you up front, is someone I know personally. Uh, hang out on Twitter, we talk. I can tell you from experience with a person, this is not malicious. Like, I really don't think there's any kind of dark underlying purpose to this thing, that they're setting up some nefarious plan for exploitation. I think it's harmless. So let's talk about some of the ways in which it isn't quite harmless. Now, the official contest rules are here. It is a, uh, it's a long document, and we don't have time to go through all of it. Fortunately, over on the uh, forum, someone else picked out a few juicy bits um, that might be of concern to people who are submitting. We're going to go through them relatively briefly. So, each entrant shall retain its ownership interest in and to its entry. That means if you create a thing, then you retain the credit and copyright for creating it. Like, you still re retain the legal status as the creator of the thing. That's quite nice. A lot of companies wouldn't bother allowing a contest entry to retain that right. However, in consideration for the opportunities provided herein, in return for the opportunity to win the contest, each entrant, or in the event the entrant is a minor, the entrant's respective parent legal guardian, hereby grants sponsor, its agents, affiliates, and successors, and assigns, that is, what you're about to grant, is granted to Riot, is granted to everybody who were, who's an agent for Riot, everybody who's affiliated with it, everybody who's a successor to Riot, in case Riot folds under and another company buys them up, I think. 
and assigns a perpetual irrevocable and assigns a perpetual irrevocable universal non-exclusive fully paid and royalty free sub licensable and transferable license to use edit modify distribute and commercially exploit the entry in any manner and for any purpose now i should stress before we go too deep into this i'm not a lawyer if you need legal advice on this stuff ask a lawyer always 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 ask a lawyer your peers can help you but ask a damn lawyer i cannot stress this enough especially if you're a professional ask a lawyer if you're ever in doubt seriously but you know with my relatively extensive knowledge of just being a freelancer what you grant to riot in this clause is a perpetual irrevocable universal non-exclusive fully paid and royalty free sub licensable and transferable license to use edit modify distribute and commercially exploit the entry in any manner and for any purpose that is to say the thing that you create for this contest and you submit functionally that belongs to riot now now they already when it comes to fan art the waters are a little muddied but when you create a piece of fan art of a league of legends thing riot already owned the ip that is depicted within the image like they already own the character they already own the universe that they inhabit they already own their voice lines and their costume and so on and so forth the thing they don't own is that particular depiction of the character they don't own the picture that you drew even if they own all the content as it were of the picture and this clause here is essentially riot saying you will grant us a perpetual and irrevocable license like a right to use this particular picture for anything that we want part of the reason for that clause to exist is that so riot has a license to display the thing that you submit to the contest on their website in their client on their social media they have the right to print it in a book if they want to like they have a right to put it on a banner that's they they need the legal right to do that otherwise they are infringing on your rights as the person who created the image so th that's just kind of covering their back the troubling part is that it is fully paid royalty free sub licensable and transferable to use edit modify distribute and commercially exploit the entry in any manner and for any purpose that is to say it's not only Riot who get the right to exploit the thing you submit in any way, they can also sub-license it and they can transfer it. That is to say, if they decide to sell the piece of art that you submitted to the contest to someone else for them to use for commercial purposes, but yeah, that, they can do that. <laughs> you can't really stop them from doing that because the license that you have granted is irrevocable and perpetual and universal so they can pretty much do whatever they like once you submit the thing to them it is theirs to do with whatever they want they want to put it on t-shirts they want to put it on merchandise they want to create a statue based on it if they want to create an entire animated series based on your entry to this contest it's unlikely but if they wanted to they would have full rights to do it and you would have absolutely no recourse whatsoever and no right to expect any compensation for your work as is outlined in this next section sponsor reserves the right but not the obligation to use the entry for any purpose including but not limited to posting commercial sales commercial sales they can sell it if they want to reproduction disclosure advertising and promotional activities distribution transmission publication and broadcast sponsor reserves the right to use any ideas concepts knowledge or techniques contained in the entry for any purpose <clears throat> excuse me including but not limited to developing and marketing products and or services using such information and each entrant acknowledges and understands that there shall be no further payment consideration royalties or other compensation from sponsor its agents affiliates or assigns for any use of set entry or the content therein pursuant to this grant of rights so if riot decide to exploit your entry into their contest further you don't get any payment for that like there's no matter if let's let's make up a ridiculous hypothetical scenario where you submit something to that contest that becomes viral or whatever and they make an animated series based on it and a movie and a whole merchandising line and a giant merchandising empire grows up around this thing that you submitted to this contest it's never going to happen in reality but bear with me it's a hypothetical you are shit up you don't get any of the money None, zero. You have no commercial rights, you have no rights whatsoever to any of the money that comes out of that. None, zero. You have signed it over. It belongs to Riot. And them's just the breaks for the con. Like, that's, that's literally what you're doing in this agreement is signing over all of it. 
Additionally, if you win the contest, you will not seek to market, distribute, sell, sublicense, or otherwise commercially exploit the entry in any form or manner without the express prior written, written permission of the sponsor. That is, if you win the contest and Riot publish your winning entry on anything and anywhere ever, then you can't make any money off the thing that you submitted, ever. Ever, in any way, without express written consent from Riot. That is to say, theoretically, if your thing gets published and it becomes popular, and the giant merchandising empire hypothetically springs up around it, you might have just signed away your right to promote yourself as the creator of the thing. In the event that a, that a court deems that you're exploiting the thing that you submitted for commercial purposes, exploiting it to market yourself, you can't distribute it yourself, you can't sell it yourself, you can't sublicense or commercially exploit the entry in any way in a form without expression written prior consent. Like, Riot will gain the gatekeeping rights over whether you can use the piece of art that you created to make money for yourself, to promote yourself. Now again, Riot already owns the rights to the IP, so it's not like you had a ton of rights over the thing that you were making in the first place, but it's still a thing that covers Riot's ass a little bit. That's really, I mean, that's the function of the entire agreement is, it's not about exploiting people. It's not about taking away their rights. It's not about, you know, being some kind of evil cartoon villain. It's about covering Riot's ass. It's about making sure that in the event something weird and unforeseen happens, Riot isn't suddenly going to have a hundred lawsuits on their hands from people demanding more rights or more revenue or more stuff in return for the things that they submitted to the contest. It's, it's all about ass covering. Like I said, the contest isn't toxic, I don't think. I don't think it's really super dangerous. The thing, though, and here I'm trying to get to the point of this video, and I know it's taken a long time, thank you for bearing with me. The thing is, though, this is boilerplate. Like I've been trying to state again and again, this is standard. This is the kind of, when, when the people who came up with this at Riot went to their in-house lawyer and said, we need a legal release form for an art contest, I would be zero percent surprised to learn that the lawyer just kind of reached into like a file and pulled out a template and filled in the details and then they were ready to go because this is so boilerplate this i've seen it in a hundred contests before it's the kind of legal language that is used again and again and again in these contests to cover the ass of the sponsor to cover their ass to make sure that they don't sign anything away that they don't get into any legal trouble down the line that they don't have to deal with any unforeseen difficulties because they decided to throw a simple contest with their community <sighs> yeah so the point i'm trying to get at here this is standard this is the precedent for how to deal with ip rights and values when it comes to artwork and for me the thing that's troublesome about this is that this is kind of the standard way in which corporations think about the artwork of freelancers this is kind of the standard way in which corporations and indeed the free market considers the value of artwork of skilled labor like creating art not everybody is good at it not all of the submissions to this contest are going to be great but creating artwork is a highly specialized skill this it's something that we literally have invented the idea of a genius partly to explain why some people are really good at creating artwork it's a false and toxic narrative but nonetheless it's, it's illustrative that this is highly skilled work this is something not everybody can do and even fewer people can do it well and even fewer people than that can do it well enough that anybody is willing to pay them for their time at all and that sucks it sucks so bad and i can't tell you the number of times just trying to make it as a freelancer that i have had to go up against and the number of times my friends my peers my colleagues have had to go up against this idea that exists out in the world that art it's not really worth anything is it it's just you're just doing it for fun you're just you're just particip you're just doing it for fun right you're not doing it because you expect to win anything. You're not doing it because you expect to get anything in return. You just, you're just doing it for fun, right? You're doing it for the love of the game. You're not doing it for money. You're not doing it to win anything. Or if you win anything, it's just gonna be, you know, ooh, it's a, it's an extra little special gift, a cherry on top. It's not why you're entering the contest. It's not why you're creating artwork. It's not to get something in return, right? Why would you get something in return? Nobody ever gets anything in return. Like if you get something in return, then you're lucky. 
You're lucky. You're lucky if you get something in return. You should be grateful that you get something in return. You shouldn't expect it. You shouldn't demand it. That you get something in return for your work. You shouldn't demand that. That's not... You, you, you're lucky. You're lucky if you win. You're lucky if you win the contest. And if you don't win the contest, then you don't have the right to be upset about it. You don't have the right to be mad. You don't have the right to demand better because art isn't really worth anything, is it? It's just something people do for fun. It's just a hobby. It's not a real product. It's not a real craft. It's not a real thing. It doesn't really matter. Why should anyone be expected to pay you just because you make art? No one should be expected to pay you. Art isn't worth money. It's not worth being paid for. You are only Your work is only worth paying for if you're a genius. If you're a genius, if you are a grand magical genius who creates paintings or sculptures or high art or plays or ballet. But if you create cartoon pictures of video game characters, pfft, that's not real art. It's not real. That doesn't, that doesn't have value. That's not worth money. You don't deserve to get paid for that. Which is where my... <sighs> There's nothing wrong with this contest. It's fine. It's... Yeah, it's fine. Nobody who submits to this will have any kind of, of reasonable expectation that the thing they submit is something that they get to keep, that, that they get to use for themselves to have commercial exploitation of. It's fine. It's not like the Ubisoft thing where they're really definitely trying to scam people into thinking that Ubisoft values their work, that Ubisoft values their contributions, that Ubisoft isn't trying to scam them out of a ton of free labor for nothing, but that Ubisoft wants to be partners with them, wants to include them, wants them to be part of their little gang, wants them to be part of the development of one of the most anticipated AAA video games in the last 20 years. This isn't that. It's fine. Don't worry about it. My frustration is broader. My frustration is with the... With the system, man. My frustration is with the way that... Contests like this, unintentionally, support the cultural narrative that art isn't really a commodity. Like, imagine... Imagine that this same contest had happened, except instead of draw a champion, it had been make a car. Build a table out of wood, out of lumber. If it had been any other kind of skilled labor, it would become completely absurd because everybody knows, like, I don't know how the hell you would do it, but if someone fixes the plumbing system of a house, even if that's their passion, even if they're doing it for fun, that's skilled, difficult labor that takes, you know, education and time in order to know how to do, and nobody should be expected to do that kind of thing for free. That's insane. But artwork, yeah, we can ask for artwork for free, essentially. We can do that. We can ask thousands upon thousands of people. This is all of the Western regions of League of Legends are eligible to submit for this. This is EU, EU, even Japan, LAN, LAS, NA, OCE, Russian, and uh, Turkey are eligible to submit to this. This is thousands upon thousands, if not millions of people all around the world being asked, hey, do you want to do some free work for our contest? Do you want to spend some of your time for free? And even if each individual person is only being asked to spend 10, 15, 20 minutes drawing a quick sketch, how many hours do all those thousands of people spending 10 minutes add up to? That's a lot of hours of work for nothing. Anyway, I'm not blaming Riot for any of this. It's, it's really not their fault. They're, they're interacting with a system that has been in place for decades upon decades upon decades. I'm just venting my frustration at the general devaluing of my craft, <laughs> of the, the skilled labor that I perform that, like, I'm not the greatest artist in the world by any stretch of the imagination, but I'm pretty good. I'm pretty decent. I, I make work that has value, and I know that because I've been selling my work for money for years. People value it with money that they pay me for the stuff that I do. But that's always a battle. It's been a battle to make people recognize that my work has value. And it's a battle for all the other people who are trying to learn my craft. Trying to learn the skills that I've spent a lot of my time trying to learn. Trying to make a living out of doing this highly specific, highly skilled labor that everybody needs for something. Every time you 
eat a pizza with a logo on it. Every time you consume any product on the marketplace at all, somewhere in there, there's graphic design, there's illustration skills, there's character design, there's visual design. All of that is my skill. Those are my skills that I've spent a lot of time and effort developing because there is a demand for them in the market, but the market doesn't want to pay for them. And that, to me, is such a subversion of how the free market is supposed to work when there's demand for my skills, and there is. There's a huge society-wide, no product gets sold ever on the commercial market in Walmart, in any of the supermarkets ever, without someone with my skill set making the marketing and the visual identity of the brand happen. Never happens. All of the, every store you've ever walked into in your entire life, every piece of media you have ever consumed makes use of my skills to make it happen. The skills that I have, the skills that thousands of other people have. And it frustrates me to no end when those skills aren't valued in proportion to the value that I know that they have. Anyway. Most of this didn't have anything to do with Riot Games' contest. Not really. Had a lot to do with Ubisoft's. It's just, these are these are thoughts that have been in my head for a very long time. These are frustrations that I have vented over and over and over again, and I will continue to vent them until the day that I die. Because this is the way that society treats art and artists. This, this is the value that we have, is that if you, if a giant company like Riot Games that sits atop a mountain of all of the money in the entire goddamn world wants thousands upon thousands of people to create artwork for their contest, then their standard approach, and indeed the standard approach of all of the corporate world to this thing is to say, oh, but if you want to do this, we own everything. We own all the rights. We get to commercially exploit it. Everything belongs to us. It's all of it is ours. All of it. None of it is yours. You don't get to keep any of it. Because we don't want to have to bother with the time or the effort or the expense or the trouble that might come from allowing you to have more than just the right to say, I made that. It's not Riot's fault, but... Like every other corporation in the world, they participate in it. <sighs> anyway, I think I've gotten my point across. I don't expect that many people to care, because they never have before. And once again, if you want to submit to this, it's fine. It's fun. It's not evil or bad. You can do it. It's not... You're not betraying me. You're not making me angry by submitting to it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not crying. I've just got snot in my nose. Um, But it's just... It's one tiny little cut, and I have thousands upon thousands of them. So yeah, anyway, if <laughs> if you want to make sure an artist gets paid, then I have a Patreon, which funds all of this nonsense, alongside also much more fun videos about character design in video games, and art design, and all that other good stuff, and if you have a dollar a month that you don't need, that you don't mind uh, passing along, I will be very grateful to receive it, because sometimes it's difficult to get paid otherwise. <laughs> God, I'm bitter. Oh, I shouldn't be so bitter. It's bad for you. If you don't want to do that, of course, it's completely okay. It's I'm not expecting anyone to, you know, it's, it's fine. It's okay. Uh, and if you like this video, you can hit the like button. I don't blame you if you don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> you can comment down below, especially if you're a freelancer and you want to share some of your own experiences to kind of dealing with the vast general hydra of the way in which society treats artwork as a craft. Uh, you can also hit the dislike button, for which I will not blame you, although you should be ready that if you hit the dislike button, it is entirely possible that within the next 20 days, someone is going to ask you to do a lot of free work, because if you don't want to do it, well, their cousin could do it for free. Anyway, my name is Ben Sky, and thank you very much for um, <laughs> bearing with me. <laughs>